everyone, welcome to my channel, Life As Me. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I'm gonna be using my Hobonichis for 2022. I'm so excited to be getting into these and I'll just get started. So first, I'll start with my work. Hobonichi, this is my day free and I haven't really done a whole lot of decorating. I have my little notes, pages. I don't remember what they were called, but I did them. I show them in my Hobonichi haul. These little, this little nap, notepad of little papers. And then these are just sticky notes that I used in my day free already to indicate important work dates that I need. So I haven't decorated anything here yet. I don't know if I'm going to decorate it or if I'm going to try and just keep it plain. It's for work, but still I, I do like to have a little fun at work too. So I, would, I debated on putting this in my work planner because it's just so cute. It's not doesn't look very professional, right? But it's so cute. I decided to just keep it in there. These are free printables. If you're a member of the Coffee Monsters Co. Facebook group, uh, Helen, she's the maker of all the stickers. She gave this as a freebie. So if you want them, you can print them out. She actually, actually sells them in her shop too, like a whole sheet already. Or so the individual ones. But if you want to print them out and lay them out however you want, then you can do that. And that's what I did. I printed them out and so they could fit in my A5. Is my future next year calendars. I don't know that I'll use that. Probably not. I don't know that I'll use this for work, but maybe because this is the day free. And if I have like an important meeting or something and I want to look back on those notes, I can just put that notes from this meeting on this date. So that's that. And I've already started. So I have already filmed this video, but I was wearing a noisy jacket that I really didn't realize was so noisy. And so the audio in it was awful. So I decided to refilm. Okay, so that's what I use these little sticky notes from these are from Daiso I don't know if you have a Daiso in your area but it's like a little Japanese not a dollar store because the lowest price of everything most everything in there is a dollar fifty they do have a couple things that go over but most of the stuff is a dollar fifty and these were one of the items that I got there they're just sticky vellum sticky notes and then they're repositionable if you want to like move them and put them back but anyway that's what I use I marked like my paydays or I started the work week and then like the paid periods and the work holidays spring forward because that's important for work because you don't want to get to work on time. So I did redate my day free because for work, I work Sunday start works better for me. So what I did is I just blacked everything out and then I wrote over it with my white jelly roll. And then I just wrote over all these dates where they would correspond obviously because it's redated and so I just did that for the entire year and then I've already started taking notes in this for work so I'll skip the first few pages it's just a blank day free just notes for me to use however I want at work and then I did use my page keeper I took it out of my a5 and put it in this one for work and I did order another one from Hobonichi I've got a when each order coming because well just because I'll show you the unboxing when it gets here so I do have one of those a5 folders here and that's what I'll be using for work got my pencil board and that's that I it does have a pen loop here which I may use bookmark I don't know that I'll use it I don't I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use this or how exactly I'm gonna decorate, but I know I'm gonna use this for work. So that's my work one. And then my next one. Okay, this is my next one. This is my Hobonichi cousin. And I forget, I think it's Sunshine Yellow maybe. Ooh, I don't remember the name of that cover. I did a Hobonichi unboxing, so I, I'm sure I mentioned the name there. But I've got the, I don't even remember what this cover is called, the cover on cover. But I love it. It's beautiful. I like the way it looks. And I don't use the same cover the whole year. I like to rotate them. So I'll get out of this and then go back to it. Go to a different one. 
Okay, my husband came home, so he interrupted my filming. So I'm not sure what I have or have not said. So I don't use these bookmarks, so I just shove them in here. Well, not yet anyway. I don't know that I want to use them. Maybe. Maybe I will. Okay, so here I just have all my Homonichi stencils. I don't know that I'll ever use them in here, but I like to have them. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have to have them in each book if it's a Coban each cover, but not if it's not, isn't that weird? Anyway, so I also have the secretary scissors. They're the Hobonichi scissors. And this would come in handy for washi, I suppose. And these are just my die cuts, die cuts from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I just think they're cute. So I stacked them and I laminated them and I just have them here. I don't know, I might maybe adhere them to the edge but you know what this is going to be in here I left it out just so I could show you where I put my Hobonichi pamphlets this year I put one in the front isn't it so cute have a neanderthal year I think this is just so cute I love how it just fits I did have to print, trim the edges a little bit because it's a little bit too long barely though it's so cute I love these guys on the hammock and I like how they're kind of interacting with the other ones because look these guys are on the hammock, but they're looking over here this way. Probably upset at this guy for sleeping and snoring. This guy's fishing. This guy's helping this other guy catch that fish. So cute. Anyway, I did the same thing on the back. I don't have my page keeper here, but I've got one coming. All right, so that's that. And then I bought the Coffee Monsters Go. They have some digital printable sheets, digital files that you can download and for purchase. These ones for purchase. They have this and this person I just printed in on uh, vellum. And I printed this on vellum and this is a sticker that they had. So I just put 2022. All right, so here's another printable of 2022. And these are from the free printables that she has on her Facebook page. I haven't covered this yet. I may just cover it with something. So last year, what did I do last year? Last year, I just used the covers, whatever that, I don't remember this. I didn't use this at all. I thought about going back because I had a word. So I started on the 1st of January, but I had a word of the day. And then I just, you know, it doesn't have to be anything important, obviously, laundry. I worked some overtime. I didn't get any sleep. I had some fish tacos. Hello Kitty. Something with Hello Kitty happened that day. So I just kind of wrote the word and then colored it in with watercolor. So I just did that. So I thought about putting those words here, but I don't know that I'll do that. So this is for what I did for the month of November. I just did a Shine Sticker Studio printable and they have a new one. So I, I might do the same thing for the other one. And... Then just, this one was also from the Coffee Monsters Co. for printable. And then I just drew a little flower. Anyhow, so I don't know that I'll do anything here. Um, this, I may just draw enough. Have you ever watched James Luke Burke? He just kind of draws all over pages he doesn't use. I think I might do that. I might try it. So I'm sure I'll blur this out. So, but you can see how I've started. I've already wrote, written here on every day of the month. And I don't redate this one because it doesn't matter. I don't use it for work for anything. So I just write something, a little snippet of what happened every day. I hand letter the month. And then I usually draw something. Right now it just has watercolor. I'm not sure how I'm going to draw it. I'll show you last year's. Where is it? So last year, I just drew in it. I just drew whatever, you know. And so I put a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Because it kind of fits. Even if it's not the Hobonichi size, the regular full boxes fit right here. Although now she has full size in, that are geared for the Hobonichi cousin or made for the Hobonichi cousin. So anyway, that's all I did. And I'm sure I'm blurring this out. And I'm sorry, but it's got some personal stuff in here. So I just decorate it in for four. September, I just put the stickers that came with something. I don't even know. It was Hobonichi. I don't know why we got them or when. It came with an order. So I just put these on. And then I put this by it all. Because I knew this is when Hobonichi stuff went on sale. 
anyway, so that's what I did with that. And then I've just used the Coffee Monsters Co. Holiday stickers for the months. So that's it there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with doing the word every day, although I'm behind. So I'm going to have to get back to that. Um, I've started my journaling. Usually I decorate the first page. And again, I'm blurring this out because it already has personal stuff in, in there. So let's see. Oh, last year I did this for turning the page. And I think I might do that again. Or maybe I'll swatch my Tombow markers. But this is just, so from these three watercolors, I made all these other ones. So I've trying, been trying to get better at mixing colors. Uh, I need more practice. But anyway, I usually decorate the first page of the month. So that's January. And I'll show you February. And it's not anything super elaborate. I just, just something. March, I just use the Coffee Monsters Co. Monthly Printable. A few of the printables from the collage sheets from Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink. She's got a Patreon. Well, she's got an Etsy shop. She has a YouTube channel and she has Patreon. So on Patreon, she does exclusive videos and then printables for collage sheets. Really cute stuff. And then, oh, like on this one, I don't always write horizontally on my weeks some I mean on my cousin sometimes I watch I write vertically I flip the page and I write this way so it just depends on how I'm feeling I like changing it up there's one I think in here where I wrote in circles so this is April May anyhow so I just meant to tell you that's that's what I do with this page so I've already started journaling in here and I know tomorrow, I'm, I still have to finish journaling for yesterday. I did some of it, but I think I want to add a couple things. And this is just a cutout from some magazine. I don't know which one. It says sugar. And I know my kids are going to make uh, banana bread today. So I put that in there. I'm going to journal about that. So that's how I use, so that's how I plan to use this one for my daily journaling. And I love it. And so I use the landscape tabs on this. And I really, I'm really loving these landscape tabs. I know it's not the easiest thing. Actually, if you just lift them up like this, you can see what month it is. But really, as the months go on, it's going to get easier to figure out where my month starts because I'll just, it's, it's going to be chunkier where I'm at at the moment. I really like the way this pencil board matches with this cover. This is not the Animal Crossing's cover. This, like I said, this is like, I think it's the lemon one or something, the yellow one, but on the inside it's green. It kind of matches the pen and it matches a little bit with the Animal Crossing's pencil board. Okay, so that's how I'm going to use my cousin. All right, let me put this on the side over here. Let's see, what did I show you already? Did I just start with, oh, my, my work one. All right, let me put this over here together. And then... Obviously, my five-year Tetro, I'm excited about this. And I've already, I've, I've been able to keep up so far. So, so far I do have anything. All that I have is writing. I haven't done anything on this side of the page. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to draw on it. I don't know. But I need to do something with this side. Maybe I'll put a picture. But I don't want to bulk it up too much. So maybe I'll just draw. Because I've seen some of them where people, I, although it's easy, fun to watch, I don't want mine to get that way. You know, some people that put pictures in there and it just, just like starts busting at the seams. I don't want to do that to mine. I want to try and keep it, I know it's going to bulk up because of the watercoloring if I end up drawing in it. Or just even the writing, the use of it. But I don't want it to get too bulky. But I do want to keep up with it. I thought about adding my weight to this. So fun fact, I weighed in today and I was excited to get down to a weight that at this same time last year, I was trying not to get to. Oh my goodness, I'm a mess. So anyway, that's my five year. 
And this guy I'm going to use for my Bible reading. So this little book here, and I just glued it on poster board. I cut it, cut it up. I had a full year Bible that I cut up into four pieces, three months at a time. That way it's more manageable to carry than this big thick book. And so by the time I finish reading this a little bit every day, so it has readings for January and the second, you know, the third. So this is January through March. And then my next books or thing that I cut up starts in April. Anyway, let me show you what I did. And I didn't do a great job of it. Some of it's ripped up. <laughs> I just, I'm a mess, but I'm just gonna cover it in stickers or whatever. So I just cut it up and then I glued it to this and it's not going anywhere. And then I just did it so I could slip it in here. And here's my Bible. So I'm gonna read every day. And then this Hominichi Techo original, I'm just gonna journal about what I read every day. So that's the plan. I don't think I'll use the bookmarks, so I just tucked them in. I don't want to cut them off because they're really cute, but I don't know that I'll use them. I thought this one was fitting because it has animals on it, and I, the animals make me think of Noah's Ark. I love this, this little book. So that is that one. And so last year I had a book that I used for drawing every day. Well, I fell off that that uh, wagon. Is that how you say it? Fall off the wagon? Anyway, so I stopped doing that. I, I didn't keep up on it. I did it every once in a while, not all the time. And so I'm just going to keep that in this cover, cover that I made. And I'll just draw whenever. I do draw my cousin sometimes. So, and then sometimes in my weeks I cover, I cover, <laughs> I color. So this is my weeks and, oh, you know what I also wanted to mention? There was somebody who has a YouTube channel. What's her name? Her name is, her channel is, oh no, I didn't write it down. Okay, I'm gonna insert the name when I get to this, but there was somebody whose channel I was watching and she uses one of these notebooks, those Hobonichi, I think they're called memo books, but this is the cousin side size she uses them for her dailies kind of like I use my cousin but in this and by the end of the month she has like a little chunky because she does do stickers and tippins and all that I think and so it does end up bulking up and she watercolors and, and everything but for every month she has a little book but that would have to replace my cousin and I don't know that I'm ready to do that yet but because I saw her video that's one of the reasons I placed my other Hobonichi order because I had to get my hands on more of these books while well, it still had the old Tomoe River paper. I'm sure next year's paper is going to be just as good. I'm sure there it is. I just have no doubt about it, but still I had to have it right now. So I do have all these books in case next year I want to do my daily journaling in one of these and not my cousin. And then I'll have one for every month. I used to do that in my little field notebooks. I used to carry around a little field notes book and then I used to have one for each month. I used to put the month on it. I used to print the month, no, draw in the month and like the calendar at the beginning. And then I journal every day after that. But at then I was also using my B6. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I had to order more of these. Okay, so this is my weeks, and this is the one I use for everything else. I love, I have, right now it's in a Sojourner cover. This is the Rhoda, and it has just these little vellum sticky notes. Kind of little, yeah, sticky notes. Um, I think I got those at JetPens. Anyhow, so it's in a Rhoda cover with the Naturals pocket from Sojourner, Natural Scoop pocket. And here... I have my Hobonichi Weeks. So this front, okay, so the front cover, I just added, I glued on this piece of, it's wrapping paper. So I was at a flea market and 
I went to look at this wrapping paper and it was just so old and crinkly and I was showing my daughter I go look at it and isn't that kind of cute and I was I wasn't sure I was gonna buy it because what am I gonna use it for and the old man that was there he said do you like it take it he said it's free I said no I'll buy it from you and he's like no I just want somebody to use it so I did he gave me this one and some other ones that were for birthday and stuff but this one's just like an old map looking paper and it was just so crinkly and looked so old I wanted it so I glued it to the front and then I just put like a little different washi border and these little stickers I don't I think my daughter got them from like at a craft fair that we went to before and they're just like little bubble stickers so I put them all over the place this is I just cut off of a magazine cut out of a magazine a while back I don't even know which one but it says castles on the beach and I'm all about the beach so that's what I did there this Terry gave me and it came in the happy mail from her and it says what's done in love is done well Vincent van Gogh so I have that here is just the digital printable from the coffee monsters co and I printed her out smaller on vellum these are both vellum this and so the adventure begins is off of the washi tape that Terry gave me it was just a little piece that I cut off all right so here I covered the this year's and next year the calendars that come in the Hobonichi weeks the the whole year view I covered them and I didn't want to see them in the background so I went in with some gesso and I just covered them with some gesso paint on there I don't like how grainy it feels probably the quality of the gesso wasn't the best I might mod podge over them but anyway these are the printables from the coffee monsters co the free printables that she gave us it in the Facebook group so I printed them I sized them accordingly and then just printed them here with the Sunday start because in my weeks I do need a Sunday start I don't know what I'm going to keep track of this track of in here maybe my cycle or my weight or both all right so I've already started writing some work stuff and personal stuff here so I'll show you what February looks like so I went in and I covered, well not, I drew over the grids. I drew black over the days of the week and then I white, I wrote the days of the week in jelly roll, my white jelly roll. And then I redid the grid. I think I just used my Emot marker for this. I think I could have gone lighter, <laughs> a thinner marker, but that's okay. And I just wrote over the numbers, redated. And I put the Coffee Monsters Co. holidays. And then these are just days that I need to remember for work. Just important dates for work. I did a video on how I did this. What's it called? Slide on divider. So I have a video on that. And then um, right now it's, let's see, it's got some work stuff on here. But I just put. This little girl on top sticker anyway it's on my it's in my other video anyway so anyway so that's what I did and I just redated it till January because in December you might already need to put some dates in January so I didn't do anything from November or March because I because I won't use those maybe I'll draw in there or put stickers or something in these pages the first week's pages, I just covered it with a white strip of paper for my ink swatching. These are my noodlers, some of my pilot pilots, and then some of these PH Martins. Those aren't for fountain pen. And then I just have some blank pages and then already written in this first week. So I'll start with this one. So these are, this is just how I've set up my first month of January. The first month. And, and I use the landscape tabs for the Hobonichi weeks. I've purchased the green ones and I think I'm going to use that in my five year. I think I'm going to split up the months with these. Okay, so where the months end and there's this note page. I just glued in a little piece of vellum also from the Hot Coffee Monsters Co. I printed it on vellum, that digital file that I purchased from her. And here's another slide on page divider just to indicate what page I'm on. 
And actually, I've already started here. I did my perpetual shopping list. And during that video, I asked if anybody knew about some finer dry erase markers. And I wrote her name down. Jessica Kukuruda. I think it's Kukuruda. Jessica, thank you for the recommendation. It's the Stedler Non-Permanent Lumo Color pen markers and I just love them. So they're perfect for me to just put like a little dot next to the stuff I need and then once I purchase it I can cross it off. So and then I can just reuse the same list. So when I'm in my weeks here plan out my dinners I can write it out real quick and then when I actually go shopping or I can transfer it to my perpetual shopping list so I can have it all in one place anything that we're out of. So again, this is for Costco, Sam's Club run. And this one is for like just a regular grocery store, Walmart, Staters, Vons, wherever, you know. All right, so the back, I usually have recipes for things that I make quite often, or I'll have a packing list for stuff that we need to go camping. So any of those items, um, if we are going on a quick overnight trip or if we we're going on a longer trip, we I do usually write out my shopping or packing list so I know exactly what I want. You know, I'll put like different snacks that we want to take. This is just something that I made. This is a digital file that I purchased from the Coffee Monsters Co. Can you tell I like the Coffee Monsters Co.? This is just a pen loop that I got on Amazon. I stuck it on kind of crooked, it looks like. This is the same one that I used last year. And I just used some undo to take it off because I still wanted to use a pink one and I only had one pink one. So I used some undo to take it off. And what undo does, it takes it off the thing that you have it on, but it leaves the stickiness on there. So this isn't going anywhere. Even though I've used it for a year and it was on that other thing for a year, it'll still stay there. And I usually have a pen right here. I don't know what I did with it. Did I start off with it? Oh, and... One other thing I'm going to use, I don't know why I forgot to order this with a closure cord, but I'm going to put one in there and then I'm going to use this bead from Summer Wind in the front. Doesn't that look cute against the pink? I think it looks cute. I guess the pink and the natural, I suppose. But yes, I'm going to add a closure cord. I need to poke a hole in here because I do need a closure cord for this. I guess I could use some elastic. No. I was thinking maybe I could use like an elastic piece like this, but no, I do want like the closure cord that I can just throw over real quick. Oh, and my beads. I didn't show you my beads. So these are my bookmarks and my beads dangle down here. I still need to put some crazy glue on there, super glue, so it doesn't unravel and slide off. But these are the beads that I chose to put on my Hobonichi Weeks bookmarks. And if they end up getting on my nerves, I can just cut them off. But those are them. So that's it. That's how I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks this year. Oh, my Hobonichis. All my Hobonichis. I need to fix these bookmarks. Anyway, um, and I do need to add that closure cord. But anyway, that's how I'm using these. Um, like I said, this I'm going to... Oh, I really want to use them now like she did. Like I said, I'll link the channel for... Um, the lady that does her dailies in like a separate book. She doesn't always do them in Obonichi notebooks. I think she used some other notebooks as well. But I just really liked the idea of having a little book every month. Because if you end up bulking it up, you're only dealing with that. And then every month you have a brand new book. Anyway, so I'll link that video or that channel. I don't know if I can link a video. Can I? I think I can. Anyway, that's it. That's how I'm using my Honichi Weeks. So this is my stack. Again, this is my daily journal. This is my work one. My five-year techo. My Bible reading. This I'm not using for anything right now. I might use it as an extra book for work in case I need... Well, no, the whole thing's supposed to be notes, so I don't think I need it for work. Uh, this will be for my drawing. This isn't new. This is the same one I had last year that I just didn't finish. And this is my weeks that I use for work for... Did I even show you how I'm using this? Okay, so if you're not used to my channel, you don't know how I use this. If you've not seen my channel before. Let me show you real quick. So I redate my weeks. 
this isn't a pretty all these stickers anyway so i will draw this line right here which is separates this line from right here creates little blocks right here and i write my work hours here what i eat in a day i write the weather usually up here and then how many miles i did every day and at the end of the week i write my total miles for the week miles for the week I write down my dinners and then shopping list for said dinners i go through and check and see if there's anything i need to buy and then my habit tracker did i drink my water did i spend that day did i eat healthy vitamins yoga and exercise so yoga and exercise i have two different places so exercise is walking yoga or anything else i do here but if i specifically did yoga i would do both of them obviously but that's it that's how i'm using my abonichis this year and i'm going to put an elastic I think that would look so cute right there. Anyway, again, this is from Summer Wind on Etsy. That's it. That's everything. And so I hope I'm able to keep up with all these. I think I will. I did pretty well last year, especially in my dailies. My dailies and my weeks I used all the time. The drawing is the one where I fell off a little. And there's nothing really to keep up with in my work one because it's just work. My five-year tetra, I think I'm going to be successful in that. I do want to write something down every day. The drawing, you know, I probably won't keep up on it every single day, but that's okay. I'm okay with that because I'll draw in this one, I'll draw in this one, I'll draw in this one. You know, whatever. I may draw in my five-year. I don't know. In my Bible reading, so I have had that little Bible for years now, and I always do well to like March, and then I drop off. So I'm hoping if I have like a separate Hobonichi and a separate, so I'm not carrying the big thick Bible, because not even this is as thick as, thick as that Bible was. I think it'll be good. And just carry this with me wherever. I love it. All right, so that's it. Um. I just wanted to share with you how I'm using my Hobonichis for 2022. Thank you for watching and I hope everybody has a wonderful year and I hope you have a wonderful time planning in your Hobonichis or whatever planner you use really. And thank you for watching. Bye everybody.